Welcome back everyone to another Wildlife Reacts. On this one we decided to do some extra chunky peanut butter and jelly and leave them out and see which one the wildlife creatures liked best. We also decided to add some shelled peanuts in between the two and see if they would prefer that a little bit more of a natural option for them. Later on that night, we did get our first visitor. Interestingly enough, you can see that there is no more jelly left on that cardboard there. Not sure what happened. The camera did not pick it up. I do think it was this little guy though that cleaned up the jelly a little earlier. You can tell he goes right over to it and licks it like he's very familiar with it. If you guys like and share these videos, we'll try to get a second camera in there to catch anything that a first one doesn't catch. This guy's gonna come back in a little bit, but he just licks up some jelly here and then heads on his way. Later on in the day, we see here a squirrel coming in and I figured this squirrel's definitely gonna go. I mean, the peanut butter smelling good and you got those shelled peanuts. But he was just enjoying running in the back there, looking for some acorns, just hanging out and playing and wasn't really interested in anything. The peanuts, leftover jelly, or the peanut butter. Now we did leave the field camera out for two days and nights on this one, and later on the second night there, the fisher weasel did come back. Now they're the second largest of the weasel family, and they're found mainly in Canada, Massachusetts, Northeast United States, and down the Eastern States. Now you can see he is loving that peanut butter. So he went for the jelly first, but then the next night he did want to come back for the peanut butter. He was mainly going after the, the chunky peanut butter before he was really picking at those shelled peanuts. And he's walking around a little bit here. He knows no one else is coming around this stash. And maybe he's looking for some more jelly or something interesting around the area. Because he's pretty sure that all those other goodies aren't going away. And over here he finds a little shelled peanut. Now these fisher weasels, they have partially retractable claws, so they can actually climb pretty good. And they can jump well too, it's about seven feet in between trees if they're climbing up the trees there. They do like to keep their distance from humans, so very skittish. If they see a human, they are going to run away. They're solitary creatures, although sometimes you'll see them out during their mating season in the late winter. I just love him keeping his tongue out there. It's so cute. Now, fishers are mostly carnivores. They do consume berries if they can find them or fruits if they're available. But they do feed on animals like rabbits or hares, squirrels, raccoons, mice, reptiles, or amphibians. They don't catch fish, but they have been seen eating fish if they do find one that's dead along the shore of the lake. An interesting fact about these little fisher weasels is that they are one of the few mammals that prey on porcupines. Not many mammals will do that, but these guys will. Now 
Now, once he's thoroughly done with the jelly first, I believe the jelly, we don't have the evidence in the video to prove it, but I think he did. He finished up the peanut butter and then he went for the shelled peanuts. And you can see he can crack them very nicely, open them up and get exactly what he's looking for. He's gonna finish up a little bit of his meal here and then he's gonna head on his way. The next day our little squirrely friend came back and I thought maybe he's gonna go for those peanuts. But no, just running around in the back. And there you can see the leftovers. Thank you all again for joining us on another Wildlife Reacts.